And as we enter Memorial Day weekend, San Diegans are finding ways to celebrate those who have served our nation. ABC 10 News reporter Perla Shaheen was at Fort Rosecrans National Cemetery today with a look at how one group is showing their appreciation. Richard Voigt visits his wife every two weeks at Fort Rosecrans National Cemetery. I hope uh, as long as I can still walk somehow, I will still be here every second week. They were married for 57 years before she passed away in 2018. As a veteran, he will be buried next to her. I mean, <laughs> uh, there's nobody better than her that I've ever met. And, uh, she was a true angel. He usually stands alone while saying his prayer and placing down flowers, but on Saturday, hundreds of volunteers joined him. It's really, really, really nice. That's why I was going to mention that kid for thanks for putting that flag there. They placed a flag at each grave to honor the veterans and their family members buried there. It's very heart wrenching being able to offer them a thank you for what they gave for their country, for freedom and democracy around the world. George Alvin Leroy. Volunteers also read out loud the names etched into the tombstones so our fallen heroes don't die twice. They didn't have to do that, but they wanted to do that. They gave their all to try and make the world a better place. Perla Shaheen, ABC 10 News. And Fort Rosecrans will host Memorial Day services in person for the first time in three years. It starts at 10 a.m. Monday. Because of construction, you are encouraged to arrive early to give yourself enough time to park and get in.